Hey guys, what's going on? It's Vedant. Welcome back to the channel. If you guys don't know me, my name is Vedant. I am 16 years old and I really like to run. And in today's video, guys, it's going to be quite the intense meet today. We have our district meet. So we're going to be seeing who qualifies to area. And our district, well, yeah, it's cracked. All right. So we have like insane guys in our district. So we're going to see if I can qualify. I ran the two mile yesterday, running the mile tonight, um, which I will be vlogging that meet. So, but yeah, it's going to be quite the intense race. Hopefully, you know, we can get a 425 or under. i um, really targeting that. 420 would be really nice. But yeah, that's that's what's happening today. Um, I think I'll probably need like a 419 to qualify for like area or whatever it's called. So yeah, guys, it's going to be quite the tough race. I will show you guys the two mile footage, but for today, the plan is right now, um, I'm gonna hop on, play some League of Legends, you know how it is, and uh, probably study a little bit, and then we're gonna head out at around 4.30, and then my race is gonna be at around nine um because we also have my brother's race to look out for, so hopefully we see some big PRs today. Really looking forward to it, and I'll see you guys there. Okay, okay, okay. Don't me like that. Hey, wave to the camera. Yeah, get off the jack though. Can we go over there? Hurry, or Hurry. Dump, 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 dump the bed. Bro, okay. Okay. This is a big deal. Baby, like, hey, yo, you getting bigger. I remember you. Oh, okay. Two mile time. 
Um, so guys, what you are about to see is some two mile race footage. Um, so this is run on April 9th, okay? And the current date is, um, May 5th. Blaine Warner snapchatted me. Anyways, um, so this was about a month ago and I ran a PR in this race, but let's just get started. Right before we start though, I'm in lane four, I'm wearing the black shorts, um, but let's see how this thing goes. Um, it's been a while, so I don't remember the race in the most vivid of details, but I will do my best in explaining. But I remember the start going out very conservatively. Um, so as you can see, we're all just kind of chilling. Um, and nothing much. It, it doesn't look like it would be a fast race, but uh, it's uh, it's decently fast. I wouldn't call it crazy fast, but um, we didn't have like the top guys running their best times. Um, but here, I'm gonna start with the clock once this uh, lap ends because I remember what my first lap was. I know that I somehow remember that. Anyways, um, 200 was probably like. I don't even know, like 35, 36 ish. So, yeah, we're all just kind of packed up and no one's really taking the lead. Um, this was a district race, actually. Um, so, obviously, we're racing for spots, not really time. It's uh, whoever gets out and qualifies um, is the ultimate winner of this. But as you can see, we got Evan and Mullen, the two other guys in Coppell jerseys in the front, and I'm chilling in the back. My goal for this race was to get a nice even split, which I don't, um, it's harder said than done. Um, especially for me, because I don't really race the two mile much, and in my training, we don't really even split. But I came through that first lap at a 72. And basically my goal for this race was to trail this kid who was, uh, Flower Mound Kid, but um, he's run like in the 930s before, so he was my target basically. Um, but as you can see, like it doesn't look like a fast race right now. Um, so yeah, you can see him in the middle there. Uh, no, I'm looking super thick right now, but yeah, 600 in. Um, I think the footage only gets like the first mile, and then the part where I make a move is not really in there, but uh, yeah. Thanks, thanks, Dad. No, I'm joking. Um, by the way, I think I. Yeah, never mind. I'll put it earlier in the video. Um, okay, let's see. So my position. I'm not really sure what my position is at this point, but I'm looking very smooth and relaxed. Um, the day before I ran this race, I was feeling so much uh, soreness in my calves. I was having a really bad week of training actually before this. Um, I did not lap it just now, which I, I think it was like a 73 or something. No, actually wait, no, my second lap was a 71, which was actually a little quicker. Um, but yeah, I was feeling really sore before this. The week of training I had before um, made me quite sore, so I was actually rolling out with a wooden roller. And that really got the knots the um, loosened out. But as you can see, we got a big pack up front. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I'm in tenth place right now. So let's see if we can pass some people up and not get passed up. Um, there's a little group or two guys that are kind of closing in on us. So we're about to be running in a pack of four. But it's uh, really those main guys that are going to take the race. And, you know, one of them is going to win it. Um, I might catch them, I might not, who knows, you'll, you'll have to see for the uh, finish of this race. Um, but yeah, we're like two minutes in, or not two minutes, three minutes, but... Yeah, I'm looking pretty calm and collected here, uh, just a very even pace. I think I could definitely go faster than two mile, I just don't have enough race experience and I haven't really put myself out there enough like that to feel confident in doing that in this race, but... Um, that was around 226 for the 800 between the 400 and the 1200, uh, which is a very awkward split to give, but uh, we're, we're cruising around 73 per lap, which uh, it feels like we're going like 80s, which is very strange to say, but yeah, the, that first group is really starting to spread out and we are quite far behind them. But um, as I said earlier, my goal is not to... Uh, take it out too hard, even though I don't really have a shot at winning this, which was not even the goal in the first place. I think I was seated at ninth before coming in this race, um, so my goal was to kind of get um, at least like eighth or something, at least like beat people, but um, as you guys probably saw, the, the clip just like completely skipped out, um, which is because like the, my 
my dad just stopped filming. But um, my model split there was a 453. And um, I don't know if you can tell, but the guys behind me were in front of me at some point. So I'm really starting to move up now. Um, I don't know exactly what part of the race this is. I think it's the finish. But um, I, you guys might be able to tell that I just caught um, a couple people right there. And my computer just went off for a second. Um, recalibrating, recalibrating. They did a pretty good job in the 6th and 7th lap. Okay, uh, so I uh, a little technical difficulties there, but uh, yeah, um, we definitely made moves that lap. I uh, caught, I'm, I'm spreading the distance even more between me and the guy behind me. Um, so a lot of the juice of this race was actually cut out, which is kind of unfortunate. But um, yeah, you can see big muscles, big man, me moving through. You already know. Um, but we we're, were catching some people, and I'm about to try to catch my teammate who was uh, like 150 meters ahead of me before. So, um, yeah, we, we kind of moved up a lot. Um, but I think I was hitting a lot of 75s and 74s, and then I'm closing. Uh, this might be, yeah, I remember this being my last lap. Um, but on lap number 7 was my slowest one, I hit like a 75. I hit a lot of 75s this race, um, but a lot of also like lower 70s too. But I close in, I think for this lap I hit a 73, something like that, and um, as you can see I'm trying to close that gap between me and my teammate, but I do end up around a second behind him, um, which is very good because I was 150 meters behind him before that. So. Yeah, that was the two mile race. I hope you guys enjoyed that. Next thing you know uh, will be the mile race, which I will let my dad commentate. And you guys will be in there right now. 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 And they're off. It's a very crowded field. Varsity, 1600 meter. Looks like there is uh, at least 25 people out there. Colin uh, leading the pack with uh, Evan catching up now. Vedant is uh, hanging back there. And let's see how the timing comes up for the first lap here. Coming down to the stretch here. Now Colin leading the pack. Vedanti is stuck into the middle, which is good. He's got a great stride there. He's not losing the focus. 105, that's 65, keep going, keep going. Final result for the girls, 1600 meter run varsity in 6th place from Marcus Austin yeah, Owen. Call. From Capel in 5th place, Chloe Hausman. In 4th place from Flower Mound, Samantha Humphrey. In third place from Flower Mound, Natalie is nicely tucked into the. In second place from Flower Mound, Nicole Humphrey, and in first place from Hebron High School with a time Bad, of Batch is not losing uh, control yet, which is very good. The I think the strides, making good strides. Score, the current team rankings for varsity. The Hebron guy, Jeriel took over. Everyone is stuck in there. So is Riley Nedro. Without this stuck back in there, this is going to be a very interesting race. Lap it, lap it. And Farm out in first place with 124 points. Take the final lap, the third lap. Vedant is doing a nice stretch there. 
looks like he's he's hanging back there at the right right time if he can keep continuing like this he'll have a fighting chance to keep a good standing there they're probably gonna break out very soon but as long as he's keeping the pace with them I think he's gonna have a good time the guy in the front Jeriel he's gonna break out we know that so will Riley Nedro and Evan but Vedant is moving up now he's he's taking a big chance but he's moving up he's moving up he's within the first five now so he's he's very much within the striking distance he just he needs to keep it at that level these boys are just phenomenal and they're doing it Vedant is now in the fifth place I don't think we expected this much but he's he's continuing to carry and he's not stopping I think he's going he's going crazy this these guys all these guys are going crazy now they're going very crazy Vedant is doing his best he's now back in the sixth place he needs to keep continuing to get a great run these three boys just took off Vedant Vedant just make it make it there make it there have a great time and that's it all right guys that sums up the race and the video as you guys saw I ran a 422 um, hand timed and but the official timing came out as a 423.06 so we were pretty close to getting down there in the 422s but uh, you know not much you can do about it I guess but it was a pretty solid race overall I uh, I think I did really well for uh, you know coming in this season I think my fastest time was a 430 before this but I did know I was in shape to run a time like this just because I was doubling every single meet before that I was running like the two mile or the 800 before pretty much every single time so I think this was a good result pretty expected result but yeah I'm very proud with how it went there was a sophomore that finished ahead of me in a 421 but 423 pretty solid overall for my sophomore season um, I did run one race after this which is the North Texas mile and I will be showing you guys a video on that pretty soon other than that man um, thank you to the seniors who you know like Colin Evan who were in the race um, really been pushing me this season even though they've kind of had their fair share of injuries and stuff but now guys we're kind of flipping the page we're flipping the chapter into the junior cross country season building up a team and all that uh, to get geared for the state meet which uh, hopefully my performance will be a lot better than last year because we know what happened um, yeah. If you enjoyed the video, please be sure to like and subscribe. It really means a lot for this channel. Um, and if you if you uh, if you want to take it back, you know you always can. But but I suggest you don't. Anyways, um, that wraps it up. I will see you guys in the next video. And um, that video is going to be the North Texas Mile. Do I PR? Do I hit my goal of 4:17 this season? Who knows? You will have to find out.